People are fallible individuals who have come to accept one another for who they are. They must as well, else they will all be sad failures in their own world. Everything develops simultaneously. They make up for each other's shortcomings to seem as one immaculate unit. Over time, you've come to understand that nobody is truly talented or ideal in their own way. One has a temper issue that his husband or girlfriend has learned to put up with while also teaching him how to interact with other people. Another person struggles to learn anything new, which a knowledgeable mentor assists him with. A friend or partner who is more holistic and imaginative may make up for someone else's short-sightedness and lack of creativity. Nobody is ever completely calm in their thoughts, actions, or emotions. However, a downward spiral is inevitable unless society offers corrective input. It seems like the wealthy are becoming richer while the underprivileged keep getting poorer. People who are cool-headed find it challenging to comprehend, let alone manage or control. Because of the way they function, which is intrinsically driven, they don't react to insignificant incentives or rewards. They don't need or have anything of the same nature to provide that is superficial. In order to create a society that is more valued and effective, people are brought together as complements. Because they don't require what others have to offer, INTPs don't have to and can't offer anything that others would find useful. Fundamentally, wild animals and people are similar. Self-preservation for the sake of successful reproduction, followed by death. Any danger to this paradigm will be seen negatively by the majority. They'll attack you first just to be safe. They will question anybody who challenges their flawed perceptions of reality rather than rewriting it when they are unable to consider a particular truth. Being calm is not an option in this situation. Never was it in the woods. Because they consistently fail, INTPs have a very subdued personality. Their extremely restricted behavior is a form of self-preservation that keeps their egos in check and increases productivity. Due to the lack of a somebody to catch them when they fall. The cycle continues, and they are the only ones who can help themselves repeatedly. Failure has a heavy price in a society where INTPs are the only ones who truly comprehend the world. People won't be sympathetic to their situation. Society won't allow people to work when depressed or sad since it will affect their productivity. If you don't do well in school, people will point the finger at you rather than at the factors that lead to your disease. You are always correct. In conclusion, you are held accountable for both your natural responses to such a terrible situation and things over which you have no control, such as how other people treat and respond to you. This is how the INTP exhibits restricted behavior. They can't afford to get angry or to shout at someone since doing so would make other people aggressive and insensitive if they don't see you handling the situation the way they would. Any attempt by INTPs to improve themselves typically fails miserably since their intellect and behavior are simply becoming more inaccessible to the average majority. Most individuals never get any better. They succeed because they can afford to take the risk-free, easier route. In a society where INTPs already lack socially acceptable coping mechanisms, they are unable to cope and instead learn from their experiences, growing wiser as a consequence. Talking to a chimpanzee while holding two bananas is impossible. Because that is all it knows, it will interpret your signals as a danger and attack you out of caution. Society is the anthropomorphic chimpanzee that INTPs live with every day. They ultimately cry out for help, but are ruthlessly sent away. Though not directly, they are told that their troubles stem from their peace. Most INTPs are bound to failure. Unless they are brought up by caring parents, educators, and peers. One of two life paths is more likely for INTPs than the other. Either they are raised in a secure, healthy household, in a society that values sensitivity and intellect over cunning and subtlety, or they are raised in dangerous, poisonous, and unhealthy circumstances. The second group is frequently denied the opportunity to reach their full potential from a young age, setting them on a downward spiral from which they are unable to recover. The first group is the one you usually hear about because they live healthy lives. 
INTPs can thrive in a civilized society that values character integrity and honesty. In social situations, both men and women benefit from the INTP's humble demeanor. Men have an easy time establishing dominance over INTPs. Others see INTPs as an opportunity to attack and take the initiative because they take their time to respond. INTPs should be avoided by women simply because of their unusual social behavior. They appear to find the INTP's very existence irritating. They appear to find it offensive that INTPs do not respond well in social situations. As if everyone else was jumping and cheering for their favorite sports team while you sat silently. This is often the cause of unchecked doubt, both men and women fail to notice how women behave, especially when no one is around to speak for them. They also fail to allow a lone male to express his opinion. According to studies, women are far more hostile to in-group members than to social outsiders. This is evident in how primary school teachers treat INTP students. In a society that rewards psychopathic go-getters at the top, the self-contained, objective, and abstract INTP makes the ideal scapegoat. People become enraged and despise anything that contradicts their perceptions of reality. Despite their best efforts, INTPs are disliked despite their honesty and compassion, and they are perplexed as to why. Your spirits will enrage some demons who have never seen one before. Also, in good taste. Why INTPs will completely hate you. The INTP is about facts and more facts. You like to do things right and deal with problems rationally and logically. Well, to be precise. This can be difficult for others to understand, partly because they can't keep as many facts as INTPs do, and because it's difficult to have a conversation with someone who is always one step ahead of this personality type. And hence, there rises a personality conflict and INTPs might end up hating you. Number 1. When you do not give your full attention. INTPs are the ones who usually talk less with people and if they ever talk to you with interest consider yourself as a lucky person. Whenever they open up about anything make sure you listen to them carefully and give them your full attention because if you won't show any kind of attention or interest, next time they won't make any effort to have a conversation with you. On the other hand, they get excited to talk when they learn something new or discover something in their life. Make sure whenever an INTP personality shares something, be participative in the conversation, because for you it might not be a big deal but for them, it is a big deal to have a conversation with people. Number 2. When people believe in illogical things. INTPs mainly touch the world through logic. In other words, they want the world to be meaningful. Throughout their lives, they have been building an inner psychological framework about how the world works, continuously modifying and updating it as they discover or experience new things. Therefore, an INTP personality is very good at finding logical errors and paying attention when things don't fit together completely. For this reason, the INTP does not understand how some people can hold on to beliefs that have proven to be illogical, whether it is a religious, political, or philosophical worldview, or anything else. Number 3. INTPs are known as genuine logicians. For a fact, this personality type never allows their emotion to make any decision. INTPs don't pursue taking any solution just because they are dealing with stressful things around them. What they really believe in is to deal with the issue with the process, fail, try and succeed. Besides, for a very logical and very independent INTP, almost nothing is sacred. For this personality type, the universally held philosophy and practice, rules, and even family traditions must withstand logical scrutiny. There is this thing with INTPs that they will find it difficult to comply with rules or community standards that are meaningless to them. They often appear as quiet and unconventional people, cleverly rebelling against the status quo. It's not that they deliberately become difficult, aggressive, or hurt others, but it just happens. Number 4. A decision must be made before all possibilities are explored. Due to their perceptual nature, the INTP is very concerned about the decision-making process, 
not just the final result. In other words, it is about the journey, not just the destination. They will never be forced to make hasty decisions for efficiency. They are more interested in exploring possibilities and what might happen, rather than quickly making plans and finalizing all the details. Unfortunately, sometimes this means they fall into analytical paralysis and overthinking. The INTP needs more time than others to draw a clear conclusion or action plan. They will hate being forced to decide without enough time to explore all the options. Number 5. Social decorum, small talk, and seemingly senseless social norms. Social norms and details are meaningless to many INTPs. What is the point of small talk when there are more interesting and important things to talk about? As we have already understood the fact that INTPs go with logical reasoning, it makes sense. Unfortunately, sometimes this means that the INTP gives the impression of indifference, alienation, or social awkwardness. As they grow up, many INTPs have learned that even if they find social jokes annoying and untrue, there are real benefits to doing so.